with Chopsticks Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today I'm here in Oman. The plan for today is to start things off here at the fish market in Muscat. Got to check out the fish market and then have a seafood meal. Although you might consider Oman as a desert country, there's also plenty of coastlines and there's plenty of fresh seafood. Then we're going to head to arguably one of the most famous attractions in Oman, Wadi Shab, a beautiful river. Gonna go for a swim, cool off, and then this evening go for a street food tour at night. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go explore the fish market. This is a super bustling fish market. They have all kinds of different varieties of fish and uh, different colors and a lot of big ones. A lot of tuna, I see some barracudas and uh, people are very friendly here as well. Big mahi-mahi here. So Oman is uh, famous for its seafood. So we're gonna go to a restaurant that's nearby here in a little bit, order up some Omani style seafood. Hey Ahmed, you eat shark here in Oman. Yeah, yeah, big time. You can find a lot of people Selling shark here. Yeah, I see yeah. quite Baby a bit sharks. of Baby sharks. Yeah. But uh, how do you actually eat it? I fry it. It's like a normal fish. Like a normal fish? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Alright, let's go eat some seafood. I'm hungry. Surprisingly, because this fish market's pretty sticky. <laughs> So this is the restaurant. The most typical Omani seafood dish to order is gonna be a grilled fish. So we're, we're picking a fish now, but we also ordered some shrimp. Uh, what fish should we go for, Ahmed? Gotta look at the eyes to make sure. This guy looks good here, actually. How big is he? Is that too big? That's too big. I think so. Maybe we should go for a small one. Maybe. Yeah, okay. Are they ish? Sure. Yeah, this, like, like this, maybe. About a kilo. Yeah. Do you think that's enough? So this restaurant has a fresh selection of fish, but you also can just come from the fish market with your own seafood. I didn't know that ahead of time, so we're just going to pick from these uh, fish that they have here, but honestly it looks really good too and fresh. But they were just telling me that the shrimp are from Iran, so their Persian shrimp apparently is cheaper to import the shrimp. The fish are local though, so we got a little bit of Iranian shrimp and uh, some local Omani fish. All right, I'm at the seafood has arrived. This is gonna be my first time trying Omani seafood and uh, I can smell it. It smells amazing. I smell the cumin especially. Cumin, some cardamom, some chilies, some peppers. It's spicy, yeah. but it's delicious, man. That's a snapper we got over okay. here. Grilled snapper. Yeah, we're gonna have it with some rice, but look at those shrimps, man. Yeah, oh yeah, we got some beautiful shrimp. These are also grilled too, huh? Yep. There's definitely some garlic in there too, and uh, oh yeah, absolutely. And we're right beside the sea. It's just right out there, so the seafood doesn't really get much fresher than this. We just came from the fish market, so let's dig in. Absolutely, let's go. Let's try these guys. Beautiful little shrimp. They said these ones are coming from Iran, right? Yeah. So not local, but uh, still fresh, not far from I mean, here. Same still water. the same water. Right. Mm. Oh man, I came right out of there. Definitely a lot of garlic in there. A little bit of tomato too, some spices. I was going for one of these big guys. Here, try this. Look at the size of that. Oh man. Oh, that is good. Seafood in a month. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Very uh, different flavor than I'm used to having shrimp with. So, spiced up nicely, a little salty. Let's try the fish next. Absolutely. I'm hungry, man. <laughs> Are we going with our fingers? Yeah, man. All right. Go dig in. It's gonna be hot, I think. Ooh. Yeah, let me grab a chunk here. And then we've also got some rice back here, too. And uh, I'll squeeze a little bit of lemon on top of that. How about some onion? Go in like this. Ooh. Oh, Where the, the rice at? is hot. Where are the chilies Oh, yeah, here. <laughs> Break a little piece of chili off, give it some spice. Not too crazy. Still only in breakfast. <laughs> oh, that's hot as hell. Bones, mm -hmm. nice. That is 
a well nicely grilled fish. Mm -hmm. With that green chili, oh, that's super spicy, but really it's good. It's already spicy, and then the green chili, but like, man, the flavor. Yeah. I think we can ask for more lemons. Yeah, there's quite a bit of meat on here, too. You go right here, big chunks of meat. Man, Omani seafood. I mean, a lot of people might kind of not realize that Oman has an abundance of uh, coastline and fresh seafood because they just kind of think of the desert when they think of Oman, but. No man, actually like, <clears throat> everyone lives almost near the coastline, right. right? So Oman is surrounded by the water from three different mm -hmm. sides. And then the desert is just in the middle. Mm -hmm. Lots of fresh seafood and it's delicious. And I love the local preparation with all that cumin and all the spices, the cardamom in there. Hmm? You want to finish it? Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's, Let's go. go. Our viewers want to see you eat this whole green chili. I'm oh, man. Really? The whole thing? The whole thing. Here, Bro, we still have, we still got what you have to cover, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna cool you down. You're gonna jump in the river. I'll have it. Let's go together. Oh, uh, together? Yeah. Alone, solo. No. Yeah. Without without rice, without yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cheers. God damn. Cheers. Okay. That might have been a mistake. Oh, wow. <clears throat> it keeps building. Mm -hmm. Gosh. By the way, this was Mink's idea. So I think she has to have one now. You're gonna regret it in a couple of hours. <laughs> no, this is like with the meat, right? Did we have it with the meat? What is that? Baby bite. The entire thing. I'm crying, dude. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> the shrimp are good, but I gotta get it for the fish. The fish is so much better. Mm. It's smoky, full of flavor, and I can still taste it even though my mouth is on fire from that chili. Oh my god, I'm crying. <laughs> Sorry, Ahmed. All right, that was some awesome Omani seafood. My first time trying it. And I think we're gonna grab a little bit of a dessert before heading to Wadi Shop. Coconut time? Let's go get it. Okay. There you go. Sri Lankan coconut. Yeah. King coconut. Yeah. You want it cold or? That's just like this. Air temperature. Air temperature is fine. <laughs> Which is hot in Oman. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, yours look super meaty. Super meaty, yeah. yeah. This one's Sri Lankan King Coconut. Yours the local or? I'm not sure. I think so. I think so, yeah. Alright, let's try it. Oh, this is really good. Here, can Here, I try it? Oh, it's sweet and served cold. Yeah. Oh, it's a lot sweeter than this one. Yeah. No, try it. <laughs> okay, let me try it. This I is the local yours one. Yours is better. A lot better. Oh yeah, wow, there's a big difference. Big difference, huge difference. Okay. Well, if you come that's here, why. that's what you want to try. <laughs> you can see that orange color right on the street. Perfect. I'm just gonna hide mine. <laughs> so you can find abundance of fresh coconuts here, but you can also get the imported ones for Sri Lanka. Whew, that's heavy. So once you're finished with the juice, bring it over to these guys, they'll chop it open for you, and then you can have the meat on the inside. Can you open this? Wow, there's a lot of meat on that coconut. Beautiful white meat on the inside. All right, just hands it to me like this. Okay, thank you. Try to clean some of that shell off of it. There's still a lot of shell on it. Let's try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Super meaty. Wow. That is delicious. 
that's a perfect snack for the hot Omani weather. But uh, we're gonna cool off even more at Wadi Shab, a beautiful river that we're gonna go for a swim in. It's about a two hour drive, we're gonna head there now. We just made it to the entrance of the hike for Wadi Shab. What's up? Got some friends here, making friends right off the bat. <laughs> so I think it's about a 45 minute hike into the uh, river and then uh, swimming. So I'm gonna switch to the GoPro because I won't be able to bring this camera. Two minute boat ride across the river. We're on the other side now and it's gonna be about a 40, 45 minute hike until the swimming spot. That's a nice ass. Beautiful. You're just hiking through this gorge alongside the the wadi, the river. How are you making it? Huh? I'm tired. Don't use this shot, please. I think I mentioned, but this is pretty much the number one attraction in Oman nowadays is to come hike out to the wadi shab, or as I like to call it, shuddy wab. Shuddy wab. Or as you like to call shab. it, wadi shab. <laughs> That helps me remember what's the place name. Wow, the water is so cool. Alright, point of no return. Oh, it is cool. beautiful. Not at all. Come on, man. It's too cold, man. What? Uh, Dude, it's warm. No, it's not. Dude, you're from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> like a freezer is warm for you. So it's like deep and then shallow so you got to swim and then you can kind of walk but the water temperature is amazing despite what Ahmed says it's really really nice, nice. Get out of the water, yeah if you stand up now it's cold Yeah, the rocks are super slippery. As soon as I get into the river, I slip and then my whole body is just... <laughs> So the ultimate destination here is a waterfall and I think we must be getting close. Close, yeah. Close, okay. Oh. Final stretch. The water is the most amazing color in here. And apparently we gotta go underneath something yeah. to get to the waterfall so should be interesting so it looks like we've come to a dead end but apparently apparently there's a way through is that right yep we'll get there in a bit where are we going no idea through there apparently what dude wow this is like the smallest little sliver of a hole that we can go through here. Can we go through here? Yeah. Oh. oh my god. It's not even big oh. enough to fit my hand. Oh. Oh. oh, there's nobody here. Oh my god. I don't think you can hear me, but I just climbed up the waterfall. There's a rope. And uh, looks like a good spot to jump. Let's do a jump. Woo. It's about, I don't know, half a foot in width. My head just fits. Does that mean my head is half a foot? That was what he shot. 
so why do you shop? Shoddy wop. Time to make it out of here before it gets dark. Head back to Muscat and take you guys for a street food tour with us. Oh, that was fun. What do you think? Was fun. Nice. <laughs> We're back in Muscat and we've come for the most popular street food of them all here in Oman. It's Mishkek, so it's barbecued skewers. We're right on the side of the road. This is some serious street food style. Lots of cars parked here and you can just see the smoke plumes from a mile away. You can see he's got the grill over here, charcoal grill, and there's two different types of meat on here. There is the lamb and then also squid, which is really interesting. They've also got some burgers going to and like I said all on charcoal and squid I wasn't really expecting to see that here I was expecting to see the lamb but I can tell that's gonna be super smoky because it just smells like smoke like crazy in here we ordered up a little bit of both the squid and lamb excited to try my first uh, Omani Mishka So once they're grilled up to a perfection, you can get the medium or well done. He dunks them in this uh, thing of sauce here. What kind of sauce is this? Uh, tamarind. Tamarind sauce. This spicy, this one normal. Spicy and normal? Okay, so tamarind sauce, you can get it spicy or not. And uh, yeah, it just completely dunks them in, coats the mishkek in it. Whew, smoky. Yeah. So Mishkek, perfect thing to have after a nice trek out to Wadi Shop. Man, that was intense and this is the exact meal that we need after all that exercise. Well, we've got it. What t what type do you like? Do you like the squid or do you like the lamb? Um, I like both to be honest. Yeah. Uh, you want to start with the lamb? Yeah, let's start with the lamb. I feel like that's more classic with that spicy tamarind sauce. Yeah. Let's try it, man. Oh, immediately can taste that tamarind. Nice and sour, very sour. Those are really good. That sauce on the outside is incredible. So smoky. Mm. There's little pieces of fat between the meat too. Really good. It just melts in your mouth. Mm. It's a really tangy sauce though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we got some chapati. Yeah. So you eat this with the bread, huh? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Wow. It's really good. You want to try the squid now? Mm -hmm. Go. Let's try it with a little bit of this chapati. Go for it. There you go. That's the seafood coming full circle from this morning. Oh yeah. Mm. It's got like a crunch. Mm. Mm. The smoke flavor is just dominating it. And that tangy tamarind sauce. The squid's good, but I don't know. Lamb's the, the lamb's definitely the way to go. Yeah, having it with the chapati bread is pretty good. Mm. Nice thin bread. Yeah. I'm in love with that sauce. They've kind of made it look like it's somewhat healthy by putting a little salad on the bottom there. Yeah. <laughs> well. Who's really gonna eat that? No one. <laughs> Shrimps. Yeah. How do you eat those? You just eat the. You peel it off and just eat it. Has the shell been removed or? The... No, it hasn't. So oh. you just gotta peel it off. I've learned so much about this country. It's just such a beautiful country, such a clean country, and friendly culture and delicious food. And you're always welcome. You have a friend here, so never hesitate to uh, Thanks, come bro. and visit ever again. Mm. Oh, you can kind of eat the shell. Shrimp is good. Hard to peel. It's getting messy, but it's just You'll the tamarind sauce. So. Finish off with our mishkek, and we've got some ginger tea. It's probably a good idea after that long swim mm. and drive back with the AC on. <laughs> <laughs> it smells super potent. Let's try it out. A little bit sweetened. Ooh, it stings on the way yeah, down. Yeah, it does sting. If you guys want to have a similar trip, you want to do any of the things you saw in our videos, you can check out OOT. Uh, I'll put your link down. In the description box, you can hang out with Ahmad or one of his awesome tour guides. Absolutely. Thank you so much, brother. <clears throat> Absolutely. It was an awesome trip. Subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye.